Hey guys, welcome back to the My Player Save. Yesterday was absolutely mental. If you missed it, you definitely need to go and watch that video because that was hands down the best My Player video I have potentially ever made, including the old fan favourites back in the day as well. Unbelievable episode. We were just on fire as a team and individually. We crack on today with games in the Eredivisie and also I think in... Europe as well, and indeed we do. It's Besiktas, and a, a win against Besiktas, or even just avoiding defeat against Besiktas, would see us guaranteed progression through to the knockout stages of the Europa Conference League. We'd like to get top spot as well, if possible, so we avoid any falling down Europa League teams. They went Fortuna Sittard at the end of that month. Uh, do, of course, as ever, feel free to drop the video a like. I'd appreciate it. And subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Uh, I am, this is an odd one, I don't normally do this, but I am going to leave a link in the description to this tweet. If you could do me a favour and go and get involved in that giveaway, then that would be absolutely amazing. I'd very much appreciate it, so go and have a look. Uh, it would mean the world to me if you guys went and went and got involved in that. Very much so indeed. Thank you uh, ahead of time for doing so. Regardless, let's go and play Heron Vane and then Besiktas. And then Fortuna Sittard, and you never know, we might come away with some more goals today. We currently have 15 in 13. I am the new Erling Haaland. Uh, Assist-wise, 9 in 13 as well. I'm the new Harry Kane. Goals and assists in me. But unfortunately, only 77 rated at the minute. So I'm not going to be get, getting called up for my country anytime soon. But nor would I really. Yet. Give it time. Give it time. Let's go and play Heron Vane and hopefully get ourselves a victory. And guess what? Got the commentators the right way around. Right from the off. Go me. Uh, goal involvements is what we'll go for. Goals or assists. Considering we've been getting a number of all of them. It's not. Oh, what a challenge. It's not that like we've been just scoring goals or just getting assists. So whenever I have the contribution option come up, I always elect that one. I'd like to select that one instead because it's just the one that's more easily done than def definitively score two or get a hat trick. Here's Greg Taylor down the line into Drew Seek. Brumer is there. Oh, I was just about to make it. A lung busting run into the channel there. Drew Seek to Brumer. We have upped my strength with some recent attribute boost. Salamakus! To be honest, he could have taken that on a little bit there and we could have been right in, right from the off. I'm at the back post this time. We do have a new perk, of course. I'd forgotten about that. We put that on at the end of the last episode, didn't we? It's the... Oh, wait, no, it's... An, we, we have a new perk and an archetype as well, actually. I'll show you that. Remind me... I say remind me. Twitch chat, remind me after the game. And we'll, uh, we'll refresh everyone's memories about what we've added to our guy. We have a new archetype and a new perk. Is that a pen? The fans are calling for it. Timossi. Nicely. Ah. Picked off by Greg Taylor. But still, Herenvain come forward. Lautaro... Timosi, Van Evijk. That's poor. It's just been a lack of quality in this one, which is a real shame and a real rarity, actually, thus far this season for us, or even our opponents, to be fair. We've had a couple of opponents that have been very, very tough to play against. Most notably of recent, FC Emmen were very, very difficult to play against. And so far, Heronvane have been as well. Goal! Brilliant first time volleyed finish from the far side and it's 1-0 to the visitors and that was a particularly impressive finish. Chiquinho, the man that's barely even touched the ball yet, the cross is driven across, one man ducks out the way of it like an absolute wet lettuce. Ah, oh, football! But maybe Chiquinho gave him the shout because he was going to do that with it. That's an unbelievable finish. We're 1-0 down. We were top of the table. Will we still be at the end of play? Oh, that's loose. Can I get there? We can. I'll just knock that in front of Sota. He and Bruma will link up. Oh, it's to me. Well, go on then. From the edge of the box. I'm trying to put that in the top right-hand corner. And quite frankly, it's gone right down the middle. Again, a lack of quality in this game so far. The one moment of quality we have seen was their bloody goal. Changed to left striker. At the beginning of the second half. Meaning probably Drews is now up top alongside me. Indeed he is. It's that 4-1-3-2 that the manager likes to switch to. When things aren't quite going our way. And 
Thankfully, the ball has come back our way, but now with Driussi as his strike partner, we might be able to do something here. I'll call for the cross. Salamakas hopefully will cross it first time. He, he has, but it's absolutely flipping awful. So bad. When you call for a cross, they very rarely get it anywhere near you. And then when you don't call for a cross, they either do cross it, but still it goes nowhere near you, or they just try and work it on the ground. And it just doesn't make any sense fo football-wise, if you know what I mean. Like, realism play-wise. That's a nice turn. And smile markers! Oh, good save by the keeper. Looking for an assist for me. We just want goal contributions, not necessarily goals for ourselves. We're working for the team at the minute. It's a good header from Noni Madueke off the bench. Immediately involved, but straight at the goalkeeper. Someone's loitering with intent back there, but they're not going to get the opportunity to embarrass anyone at this moment in time. And look at him sprinting, trying to get back in position. We might need you back there in position. I think it's Romalio. He is back now. Olsen to Timosi. Off the last shot for a minute. It's Chiquinho again. No, it's Saar. It's a brilliant save. And Romalio is back there then to get the clearance in. <sighs> Very nearly 2-0. Heron Vane. Now I've been changed to outright striker again. So another secondary change information. Please be onside. He is Greg Taylor. I'm going to try and work some space here. Ah, I've overrun it. And Hadj inside to Olsen. And Saar. Chiquinho with his first time effort that was worth a go. Didn't really come of anything. They've only got three back at the minute. So if we can get our forward three involved. Ah, they do drop to a five back though when they're out of possession, frustratingly. Then maybe an equalising goal isn't as alien a thought as we think it might be. That's in. Oh, there you go. What a ball from Madueke. That's one of the most pinpoint crosses we've had so far. It was earlier in the game. I'm not sure if it made a highlight or not. I was complaining about the crossing. Uh, maybe I need to bite my tongue. Certainly questions asked of the goalkeeper there. But I've got the power header trait. And that was power. Yeah, definitely questions asked of the goalkeeper. I don't know what he's doing there. He's just stood there. And then fall like he's planted his feet. Not gone anywhere near it. And just fallen over. I'll take it. It's 1-1 one, one and a goal for me. Thank you. Sambo picks that out. There's not long left but there might be time for a winner, you know. Noni Madueke beats his man. Driussi to me. Driussi's still there. That's Noni Madueke on my left foot. Oh, please tell me that took a deflection. Please tell me that took a deflection. It did. I thought my <laughs> I thought my shot had been so bad there. It just flown over the bar. Noni Madueke with a header cleared partially. Madueke's up again! And the keeper this time is able to make the save. We're going to get an 8.5. It's going to be a 1-1 draw here against Herriman. We're going to get an 8.7, apparently. Uh, it's a 1-1 draw. One of the more difficult games that we've had to play in a polar opposite turn from yesterday's episode, which was, um, well, as straightforward as we potentially could have ever wanted it. We do get a goal. We do get a point, but... Dear me, that was difficult. Ajax dropped points as well against FC Twente, so that's good. But Feyenoord were able to pick up a win. I get man of the match, although my guy's quite embarrassed about it for some reason. And, ah, uh, yeah, that's the group stage of the Europa Conference League. We're already guaranteed progression, but we haven't yet guaranteed top spot. And we are still top on goal difference ahead of Feyenoord. Now, that goal and that point were vital in keeping us top of the table. Now then, let's go and play away from home in Turkey. Avoid defeat again and guarantee top spot in this group competition. We'll go for the successful dribbles objective. Here's Maleka. Back to Kerem. Looking for Gazelle down the wing, but a nice aerial win by Greg Taylor. And we're away, coming the other way. Bruma into me. I'll go back to Bruma. I'll go again. Who's Driussi? It was Fachinkel. There's Driussi. Now here's Greg Taylor. Into Bruma. Into me. I'm going to try and spin the man. We've done that well. And the shot. Will blocked. Not blocking that one, no. Driussi gives us a 1-0 lead in the 22nd minute. I might have failed to bring that about, but as long as the team get the goal, then that's all that matters. Stealing it away from the defender and pile driving it into the side netting. Brilliant. That'll be top spot for us then. Yes, please, anyway. Jetson Fernandez is there again. Dinked over the top. Here's Antoine. 
Nicely, Maleka made himself available looking for that through ball. Nearly found it. Will find this one. Oh, he's pulled the shot. Antoine's pulled it horribly wide. That's a really good chance for them. Besiktas, oh, he was offside, was he? Oh, that's very tight. I'm not sure about that. That's where you definitely have to rely on the VAR lines, isn't it? But even if it had gone in, then it wouldn't have counted. But he very nearly found that far bottom corner. Besiktas firing a warning shot. You might have taken a 1-0 lead, Chez, but you're not definitely going to win this game. maleka has got to do better with that, as does Greg Taylor. Couldn't get it under control. It just bobbled up off his foot onto his knee and out for a corner. If they score from this, pissed. In it comes. It's up to me. I'm going to win the header. Brought down by Kerem. He could wind up for a shot. He has done, but it's well blocked by Van Ginkel. Here's Kim now. Still Besiktas come forward. Jetson Fernandez, Roman Saiz. Gazal. This is excellent football. Still it falls free, but no, we have now managed to clear it. And the opportunity will pass for Besiktas. Evidently, though, they're just going to be just as dangerous as uh, Heronvane were in the last game. If not, potentially more so. They've had arguably better chances already in this game than Heronvane had. And Heronvane managed to get a draw out of us to me. And out wide to Salomar because he's onside. And if you can find me here with a little cutback. Oh, I told him to shoot. I was pressing shoot, so I thought that was going to find me. And I wanted to hit it first time. Straight at the keeper. No threat of a second goal there. Gazelle has an overlapping run here from the right back. Kim. And they might be. And he can pull it back here to a teammate. And he has done that. And Maleka, unfortunately for him, doesn't get the shot away. A call for the through ball from Bruma. Play it! Dickhead! It's going to be 1-0 at half time. What? Uh, all right. There's not a foul. Bruma just needs to get on the weights. Ah, oh, you've played it to where I was, mate. That's not gone well, has it? It'll be 1-0 PSV at half time, which is enough for us. To be fair, even 1-1 is enough for us. But you want to win any game that you can, regardless of whether you need that victory or not. You want to keep the winning run going. Here's Antoine. Into the box. Jetson Fernandez. Siktas looking to start the second half strong and find that equaliser. But they can't. Not Knock that down there to Salamar, because if you could play me over the top here, it'd be brilliant. Come on, play me over the top, play me over the top, play me over the top. What a ball! I'm in over the top. Oh, my God. Where's he come from? My first touch is so poor there. It's a brilliant floated ball. Just timed right. I had to wait for it and wait for it. And he's noticed how my touch has gotten caught behind me. They've actually stopped it dead and then run off without the ball. And that's allowed the defender back in. We might not get a better chance. To score a second goal in this game. That really wasn't good enough, was it? We could have killed it there. And I've absolutely fluffed it with a dead Romelu Lukaku style first touch. Give that across there to Salamakos. And I'll make the same run again. I'll call for it. He's not going to play it this time. Okay. Thanks, mate. You play it now. Play it now. Cross it. Oh! Corner for PSV. Oh, never mind. Volley, 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 go on. Vachinkel! It's wide. It was worth a go, though. He's mad work, eh? Into me. I'm at risk of being subbed out. We're not seeing that for a while. Vachinkel into Sambo. Inside to Vachinkel. Inside to me. And... Oh, playing a pass just then. Oh, I can't get there. Kalu into Muleka. And he spun the man. And he shrugged him off as well. That was a formality from there, wasn't it? Muleka makes it 1-1. Besiktas still fighting to try and steal top spot. If they beat us here, then they'll be on 10 points and we'll be on 12. And it could, it will go down to the final day. I'm not going off yet. Maripan is now coming on for Romalio as we make a change in our defence. Hopefully, now that we've got ultra attacking, we might be able to go and get that winner again. Still at risk of being subbed out. I think attack is going to be the best form of defence for us for the rest of this game. If we keep the ball up that end, then we at least stop them from scoring their second. Even if we don't score ours, we don't necessarily need it. They do need another goal. So they'll probably go quite attacking. Please be onside. <laughs> they'll probably go quite attacking and try and get themselves their next goal, which might actually open them up for a counter-attack going the other way. Keskin has gone off. And Yilmaz is on in his place. Here he is, Cartel Yilmaz. Into Gazal. And Yilmaz again. Picked off. There you go. Come on then. 
They are going to get offensive now. That's, oh my god, my passing's getting offensive because it's offensive to look at and offensive to you guys. You don't need to see that. I'm almost insulting you with my lack of footballing ability at the minute. We're almost insulting ourselves with the lack of footballing ability at the minute. Definitely not doing ourselves any favours or doing our reputation any good at the minute. Playing awfully in this game. This is such a polar opposite to yesterday's episode, isn't it? I've really struggled. We got the goal in the first game, but I've really not been good enough in this second one. Muleka into Kalu and Umut. Inside to Kalu. They're in. Big save. No, it will. The rebound finds Muleka. Besiktas are going to make it 2-1 and take this top spot fight to the final day. It's a brilliant initial save, but it's so unfortunate how it falls straight back to them. I can't believe it. 70th and 86th minute. We're going to lose. It really couldn't be any different from yesterday, could it? This is crazy. We absolutely smashed everyone we looked at yesterday. Come on, please. Come on, Chez. No, I couldn't change my direction quickly enough or agile enough. With good enough balance to keep away from the defender. It's going to be a 2-1 defeat away from home in Turkey. I'm getting flashbacks to that my player of last year on Facebook at Trabzon Sport with Besiktas. Being really hard to play against and beating me. It happened far too many times for my liking. It's happened again. We will head now into the game against Fortuna Sittard in three days time. And hope for a little bit of payback. And try and get a victory from one of today's three games. 13 goals yesterday. Only two so far today. With Fortuna Sittar to come, hopefully we can add to that. That was not good enough. So, as I mentioned earlier, we do now have the set-piece beacon uh, perk on, which actually shares a symbol with the bull archetype that we now have. We put the bull archetype on, so I have 93 strength, 80 jumping, and we're certainly pretty damned decent now aerially, as we've proven by getting a rare headed goal today. What I wouldn't mind would be what has been so rare to come by today, a victory. I've actually got an activity here. That might even be my investment coming back. No, read a book by a club legend. Okay, Christmas is on the way. Are we going to end up having to spend like 800 grand on a Christmas party for charity? Because apparently that's what the sort of money you need to spend. Come on. Oh, no, investments. I'm waiting for an investment to come out. I think it might be back by now. Two days. Oh, come on. Two days away from getting... My return on investment. Um, what should we do? What should we do? Let's... Let's hire a yoga coach and up my agility because I definitely failed agility-wise in that last game, didn't I? Particularly with that last chance. So there you go. We'll up our agility by one and hopefully, even though it's not much of an increase, it's an increase and it may well be good enough to help us in certain situations in this next game. Uh, I'll go for the dribble success rate because with our form today, I don't know as I fancy us for a victory here. Fortuna Sittard aren't a team I'm familiar with in the slightest. So I've no idea if they're like a mid-table team or if they're a team that we should be expecting to absolutely dominate. I would have loved a free kick in that position. But certainly defensively, they've started off laying out the law. And leaving one on the early doors. Let him know you're there. Let him know you're there. Proper Sunday League stuff, that. Early strong challenge. But when again, top goal scoring team in the league, but we've only scored one per game so far today. Salamakas. Oh, well, there is our one for this game. Bruma tucks that home onside. Salamakas links up with the other winger on the other side, who's tucked in. He's cut inside and he's buried it. Broom has been getting a handful of goals recently, and I'm quite pleased with it. That might, hopefully, set us on our way to get victory here today. But we thought we'd set ourselves on our way when we scored our goal against Besiktas, and that didn't turn out how we thought it would. So let's not count our chickens just yet, shall we? It's into me. Salamakas making a good run there, but I'll hold the defence off. Look at that. Look at that extra agility. Oh, absolutely superb. Moffy, nice tackle by Kaku. Kneeling forward to Sertiens. And now Moffy's in. And it's opened up for them here. Benitez again comes out and smothers. He's very good at that in one-on-one -on -one situations. 
See, we were just unfortunate with the way it fell back to Besiktas in that earlier game. Valerie picking up a yellow card for a misdemeanor earlier on. That's going to fall to me, and we'll just get that quickly out to Bruma. He's going to be on his own for the time being. And the final, well, the half-time whistle, sorry, is soon to blow as well. So there it is. <laughs> He's Perez down the line to Tanas. Little deft touch around the corner to Moffi. Could find him again. Driven into the middle. Romagno just in the way. And then the keeper was like, I'll get it. That's fine. Don't worry. He took all the sting off the cross. The keeper just could come out and uh, get it under control. When they could look for me here. Get that under control. We'll look for Salamakers. And he's gone back there to Kaku. And am I past the defender here? I think so. Looking for Bruma. Oh, it's a brilliant save. It's a very good stop. Bruma nearly adding to his earlier goal. He's now going off for Noni Madueke. Could have scored with his last touch of the game. They've made a change as well. 25 minutes to go. That's nowhere near me. Uh, we could still recover possession and have done. Noni Madueke trying to lay it back. Uh, trying to shoot. Oh, it's just its not falling for us in front of goal the way that it is our opposition. We've had to work so hard for the goals we have gotten and we haven't been able to get the clear-cut chances we need to get more than one goal in any game today. Romalio going off for probably Maripan again. Oh, it's Baumgartel this time that's coming on in his place. Van Beenen won that header, but it's only gone as far as Salamakas again. Strike, good save. Are we going to keep that in play? No, they're going to keep that in play. No corner for us. Oh, but I nearly cut that out. Still, only 1-0 in the 74th minute. Chances have started to come, but they still won't go in. And it was about now that we crumbled against Besiktas, but they can't finish as well as Besiktas. Trying to show some extra agility here. We've done that well. Out to Salamakers. And Kaku gets caught on it. No free kick, unfortunately. Would have loved a set piece right there for the final action of the game but provided we can stop this counter attack he says fingers crossed touch on wood we should get the point oh he saved it it's gone around the corner for a corner and we might not get the point fortuna sit out with the last chance of the game don't score he says he says don't score a 1-0 win. So one of everything today. A real mixed bag of results. A draw that was looking like it might be a defeat. A defeat that was looking like it might be a win. And then a win from a game where we didn't really look like either side deserved to win it. But we were just the ones that got the very early goal and then sat on that for the rest of the game. My manager rating or manager favour goes down a little bit because I didn't get the match rating. But we're still in the starting eleven. And that does keep us joint top then with Feyenoord because they won as well. We've got a five-point gap back to Ajax now. We are leading the way continually. It's Excelsior next, then Aberdeen. And after Aberdeen is RZ. So that's going to be a very difficult game. Then we've got a game in the Cup coming in the not-too-distant future as well against Vitesse. My activity is... Oh, Player of the Month. I'll take that. Thank you very much indeed. Uh, I'll say thank you to the fans for supporting me because especially... At least in today's episode, I wasn't that good. I wasn't that good at all. My investment has come back. Please tell me I did well. No, I've lost money. 258,000 in, 245,000 out. At least I've only lost 13 grand. I can't quite believe I'm saying that as a phrase. Uh, so I want to invest in anything else now. Is there a... a oh, there you go. A low... I was going to say, is there a low risk, high... Estimated revenue one. We'll go for the Fragrant Trees and Toiletries brand one again. We're looking to uh, run a second run of what was so popular the first time. And then we'll stay in the whole fashion and that side of the, the industry by hiring a personal stylist as well. I'm going to look my absolute best. <clears throat> Alright. So, top of the table and top of the table in Europe. And hopefully... Threw in the cup next time around as well. I've just noticed that Feyenoord have played their match day 16 and have drawn it. So if we can beat Excelsior in the first game tomorrow, then we will go top outright. And I thought for a minute when they're on seven points, they'd be the worst team in the league. They're not. It's Sparta Rotterdam, but they're both on seven points. So we might see another heavy one-sided game against Excelsior, but we certainly won't see that against fourth-placed RZ, that's for sure. It'll be up and down tomorrow. We could have a mixture... Yesterday was 
up here. Today was down there and tomorrow might be somewhere in the middle. So long as it's better than today, that's all I care for. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow.